The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth or accurately handling the word of truth. How many lessons are there for us to learn from the word of Lord God Almighty each and every day being renewed so that we can know and truly understand the true purpose of our calling on this earth. Each and every word of Lord God Almighty teaches us many things for us to learn that the goodness of God should always lead the man to change his mind, to go better and better if he's a believer, to move from glory to glory, to reach to the highest glorification of Christ on this earth. The same goodness of God towards unbelievers, it has to lead them, like the wasteful son, the prodigal son, who knew the goodness of the father which brought to his remembrance, and the goodness of the Father led him to change and to put him once again the robe and the signet ring. Likewise, this unbeliever should know to come to home to Lord God the Father. And to come to home that is not possible until and unless they come through the faith in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ work on the cross. The only reason why our Lord is our Ultima is purely because we share everything what our Lord Christ Jesus has and it has been credited to our account. At the moment of salvation, which is a positional sanctification, Lord God, the Holy Spirit causes the Christian to share in him in all that what Christ has and he is. Every member of royal family of God shares Christ's election, his destiny, his sonship, his heirship, his priesthood, his sanctification, his royalty, his righteousness and his eternal life. Divine righteousness and eternal life are necessary for the relationship with God. To live with the perfect God forever, man needs God's own righteousness and God's own life. These blessings are inherent in salvation of every dispensation. In Old Testament believers, where the righteousness of God and eternal life through imputation, rather than through union with Christ, in Genesis 15:6 and Psalms 23:6. In the church age, every believer receives divine righteousness and eternal life by imputation and by union with Christ, both. 2 Corinthians 5.21 and 1 Corinthians 5.11 This double portion belongs to spiritual royalty alone, for us alone. One vivid description of the baptism of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, contrasts the church and the Israel. To teach the church age believers position in Christ, Paul draws an analogy to the custom of adoption practiced by the Roman aristocracy. Roman adoption officially designated someone as an heir, whether or not that person was related by blood. The Caesars usually adopted successors who were not their sons. Often, however, a father would adopt his own son, granting him the full privileges and responsibilities of the family name. The ceremony also marked the boy's transition into adulthood traditionally at age of 14. Paul depicts Israel as an immature son in Galatians 3.23, the church as an adult son and heir in Galatians 3.25 and 26. At this great dramatic moment in the Roman ceremony of adoption, the new heir is clothed with the magnificent toga while is the garment of manhood. And in Galatians 3.27, we have, for all of you who have been baptized into Christ, the baptism of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, have clothed yourself with Christ, that is toga while is clothed in, clipped in. This toga varal is many of the people are not able to understand. They have been qualified to call Lord God the Father as Abba Father. And there are morons who do not know about the isagogical background of the history. And they want to say, shall I be baptized with the Holy Spirit or in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ or in the name of Lord God the Father? They have not understood what is the name of baptism to be baptized in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And they have slipped in and they have clothed in with the endowment power of the Spirit is purely to call you as Toga Varal is qualified to call you as Abba Father. Now Christians were the spiritual equivalent of the Toga Varal is from the movement of salvation when Lord God the Holy Spirit baptism occurs. Through the merits of Christ, church age believers are adopted as, as adult sons of God and giant heirs with Christ at the first instant of faith in Him. As per Romans 8, 16-17 8, and Ephesians 1, 5. Although a spiritual infant in experience, 
every church age believer is a spiritual adult in position. He is granted the full privileges and responsibilities of an adult son of God because he is in union with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ besides being imputed with eternal righteousness. If you still neglect to know about the salvation of the great work of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as told in Isaiah 27.1, our Lord is going to make a pen of iron and is going to make a diamond upon that pen and is going to write upon your heart the things pertaining to your sin so that the people should know what it is forever and forever. Therefore, dear brethren, consider over these things. We are not only just being imputed, but we are in union with Christ. We are not only just union with Christ. We are being given to put on Christ as a man. The ceremony which has been done in Romans' time to see the successor. Now we are the successors of Christ because we share everything our Lord has and He is. And if you still neglect the true salvation of God, you are going to have a tough time, dear brethren. We cannot play poker with my Christ. As the prodigal son, the wasteful son, rather than keeping a prodigal son, it should be the loving father as a title. He still taps his foot and he wants to bless those who reach. To him as salvation by faith alone in Christ alone, by the baptism of blood, get the Holy Spirit. And those who want to move upon for the greater work, moving from glory to glory under the, man, under the mental ministry of blood, get the Holy Spirit. So think over these issues, which way you want to go. It is your life, it is your time, it is your purpose. And if you are not interested to know further, Lord help you. So we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Which way you want to go, you decide. With our head, board and eyes closed, the closing movement is being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without open the eternal life. In our ability to turn to Lord God the Father, we believe upon Christ, there is a movement itself, we shall have eternal truth. This eternal truth for us is a very simple believing Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great master grew up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine, you shall learn to acquire the personal truth, and truth shall set you free. And for the passion teacher, the great master, Kerusotan Lagan, herald the word incident and out of season because of the of my witnesses, for which you have been called. Number one, diamond of my witnesses, in the Trinity, followed by the will in our hands. And number two, of hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, not worry, besides nature, the entire angel because filled by witnesses. But our work is our work. Our work is to rightly divide the word of truth. So which way you want to go, you decide, dear brother, and we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, I am grateful for the privilege of giving us the word. We thank you particularly for the Christ privileges that are given to us. So that everything we share in Christ, what is, and for the tug of our allies that are given to us. So, Father, we thank thee that you have baptized into Christ for us, so that we can put on the tug of our allies of Christ and to show forth thy glory. To this section, Father, we pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit challenges and blesses for your asking Christ and sovereign Lord. Amen.